Is it a good thing or a bad thing that it's becoming harder, maybe impossible, to encapsulate information in discrete units and sell them? The simplistic answer, the answer that you get from Hollywood and the recording industry, is it's a disaster. This is not a film about piracy. The recording industry's been freaked out. The movie industry's been freaked out. The suits don't know how to think about this. This is not a film about sharing files. They put a lot of money into making those movies, making that music, so they want to get something back. But the way they're trying to stop the copying now, it's definitely not working. It's a film that explores massive changes in the way we produce, distribute, and consume media. Ever since Napster, the music industry has been trying to kill file sharing. Right? You know, Napster was this huge global party of, you know, everybody suddenly had access to the largest music library in the world. And what did they do? Well, they went after Napster and they shut it down. Napster, Aimster, Audio Galaxy, Grokster, iMesh, you know, Kazaa, all of these companies were sued. And in the end, essentially, the entertainment industry succeeded in driving that technology out of the mainstream commercial field. The industries turned to suing individuals, hundreds of individuals, ultimately thousands, now tens of thousands of individuals for downloading music without permission. Existing players are trying to make certain things happen that kind of in retrospect will seem kind of barbaric. If you're talking about the distribution of cultural material, of, of music and, and cinema, well, there is a long history of whatever the incumbent industry happens to be, resisting whatever new technology provides. Cable television in the 70s was viewed really as a pirate medium. All the television networks felt that taking their content and putting it on cables that ran to people's houses was piracy, pure and simple. The uh, video recorder was very strongly resisted by Hollywood. There were lawsuits immediately brought by the movie studios who felt, in fact, who said publicly that the VCR was to the American movie industry what the Boston Strangler was to a woman alone. New information technologies provide Hollywood and the recording industries with fresh channels on which to sell products. But they can also open unplanned possibilities for their consumers. The sheet music people resisted the re recordings. The first MP3 player uh, by Diamond Rio, sort of the initial company long before the iPod, they were met with a lawsuit. The possibilities suggested by peer-to-peer -peer technologies have prompted the entertainment industries to react in an unprecedented way. Traditionally, copyright infringement has just been a civil matter. If a copyright owner catches you doing something wrong, they can sue you and force you to pay them money. Criminal infringement liability, the ability to prosecute you and throw you in jail, has been reserved for circumstances of commercial piracy. Circumstances where, you know, someone has made 500 copies, is selling them on the street as a competition for the, for the real thing. Well, in recent years, copyright owners have not been satisfied with that. They have wanted to reach out and be, uh, have criminal uh, recourse against people who are engaged in non-commercial activity. We recognize and we know that we will never stop piracy, never. We just have to try to make it as difficult and as uh, tedious as possible. And we have to let people know there are consequences if they're caught. What they've sought to do is sue a few people 
punish them severely enough that they can essentially intimidate a large number of other people. Uh, it's really as though they decided to intimidate the village, they would just chop off the heads of a few villagers, mount those heads on pikes as a warning to everyone else. The fact that the DVD writer is the new weapon of mass destruction in the world is primarily for the fact that a $50 billion film can be reproduced at the cost of, let's see, 10 or 15 cents. There is a fantastic quote by Mark Getty, who is the, the owner of Getty Images, which is a huge corporate image database, and he's one of the largest intellectual proprietors in the world. He once said, intellectual property is the oil of the 21st century. It's a fantastic quote. You can condense it to one word, that is war. He declared war with that, saying, we will fight for this stuff, these completely hallucinatory rights to images, ideas, texts, thoughts, inventions, just as we're fighting now for access to natural resources. He declared war. Strange kind of war. I would take it serious, but it's ridiculous and serious at the same time. This is not the first war that has been fought over the production, reproduction, and distribution of information. People like to see the contemporary uh, and the digital era as some kind of a unique break. And I think the important point to make here is not to see it as a unique break, but really to see it as a moment which accelerates things that have already happened in the past. Before the arrival of the printing press in Europe in the 1500s, information was highly scarce and relatively easy to control. For thousands of years, the scribal culture really handpicked the people who were given this code to transmit knowledge across time and space. It's an economy of scarcity uh, that you're dealing with. People are starved, in a sense, for more books. There are images from the 16th century of books that were chained and had to be guarded by armed guards outside a heavy, heavy door because it is very, very dangerous for people to have access to, to, to that. Print brought with it a new abundance of information, threatening the control over ideas that had come with scarcity. Daniel Defoe tells of Gutenberg's partner Johann Fust arriving in 15th century Paris with a wagon load of printed Bibles. When the Bibles were examined, and the exact similarity of each book was discovered, the Parisians set upon Fust, accusing him of black magic. About to change everything, this new communications technology was seen as the unholy work of the devil. emerging nation states of, of Europe uh, made it very clear that they would control information flows to the best of their ability. The printer